an RF channel occupies a certain amount of radio spectrum. How do we make the most efficient use of the small chunk of radio spectrum, which is our channel? There are two different techniques we could use. One is to separate channels by frequency. So if you want to have two channels, you'll have two separate frequencies. If a conversation runs across this channel, it occupies the whole of the channel exclusively. Only one conversation, one user at a time, per radio channel. This technique is called frequency division multiple access. Multiple radio channels mean as many frequencies as there are channels. There is an alternative technique. What it does is it occupies that channel, but it allows two users to occupy the same channel at what appears to them to be the same time. The trick is a bit like the cinema. You are not actually seeing a continuous film. You're seeing a lot of still shots, one after the other at something like 30 frames per second. And what you see as continuous movement is actually a time shuttling exercise, a bit of slate of hand. Time division multiple access is a bit like that too. Suppose that you have what's called a two time slot TDMA system. User 1, he gets use of that frequency for a fixed period of time, 50 milliseconds. It's very short. And then the channel reverts to user 2, who gets 50 milliseconds. And then it cycles again back to user 1, who gets a further 50 milliseconds, and so on and so forth. This process is so fast that each user thinks that they have exclusive use of this frequency channel. Now, of course, if we wanted to have more than two conversations on at the same time, which is what I've just described, we'd need another radio channel. And that could be another TDMA channel. If it's a two-slot TDMA channel, then two frequencies can support simultaneously four conversations. Or I should say, apparently simultaneously, because of this clever shuttling trick.